hi hello this is another one of those i need an intervention videos but it's cool so we are doing a planner haul as i'm sure you could tell from the title and i have been burning to do this video for like a week but the post office was super delayed with a lot of stuff and i'm still waiting on one more package so i'm like you know what that company will have to get a dedicated video and i think i bought a lot of little things from them on sale so it'll it'll be enough for its own haul but i had to get this out because i want to start using this stuff okay i'm ready to start planning okay so i'm just gonna go through and show you what else i've bought over the last three weeks or so so without further ado if you want to see more of my planner haul stuff uh make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and keep watching The first thing was I went and grabbed actually I went and grabbed three more sticker books from Michaels from the brand Happy Planner because these were on sale and I went because I needed more planner uh, stickers like these that have like the blank like squares you could like write stuff in it because in a lot of the inserts I've been printing off I've been wanting like kind of cover up little stuff and make my own little like category so I just kind of needed more of this type of stuff so that's why I wanted these I actually went to Michael's for that and then I actually grabbed this set because they have similar stickers in it but then they also have like more motivational stickers as well like in the midst of it so this is like the goal setting pack so these are really cool like I can use those arrows as well so this is the goal setting pack this is the layered boxes pack if you want to check it out and then i grabbed the winter pack because i definitely want to decorate my planner for christmas and new year's and i know that at the holidays this stuff is going to be back to regular price so i just went ahead and got like the christmasy ones so that's that and also i've been struggling to find like fall decor so anyway so that's that then the next thing I grabbed was this monthly sticker book. I was so excited to find it. So there's stickers for every month in here. This is from Capital Chic Designs. Also grabbed this at Michaels. Then they have like the day of the week stickers and like number stickers and all of that. So now I don't have to write this stuff in. So I was just super geek to find that. And then also from Capital Chic Designs, I got this really cute notepad. And I grabbed this because I purchased their, the Capital Chic Designs planner pockets. So they sell, it's like, it comes in this pack, a pack of four of adhesive pockets. So you can actually glue these with the adhesive backing in your planner or on your dashboard. So you get two sizes, you get this size and then you get the bigger size. So this is gonna work really well on an A5. This is gonna work really well on my personal planner. So these are the designs and I absolutely love it because, and I think I mentioned this in a vlog, but I'm I'm a big scrap piece of paper person. I feel like whenever I need to write something down, I always just grab a piece of paper, like whatever's near me. So having these notepads, which I had a second one that came in the subscription box nearby, in fact that I can now rip it off and put it in the planner pocket versus always having to like, remember where I sat, paper clip it in a planner, whatever. So grab these from Capital Chic Designs again, all at Marshall's. So that's that. The other thing I got from Marshalls was the Recollections brand double-sided adhesive tape. I just grabbed this because my other double-sided tape is like old and it doesn't really work that well. So this was the cheapest one. And then I grabbed, what is it, a set of tweezers. Where did the other one go? Here we go. So I grabbed the set of tweezers and these are craft tweezers. So you can use this to place really small stickers or if you want to place things like more accurately. And I was definitely struggling with some of my stickers with my nails. And so what was interesting in Michael's was it was cheaper to buy the four pack than it was to just, cause this is the one that I've seen people use on YouTube with this particular tweezer. It was more expensive to buy this by itself than it was to get the set. The set was $4. The one by itself was $4. So I'm like, I'm gonna just get them all. So I just grabbed the set. So this is for stickers. And then I think that that's it from Michaels. Now moving over to Amazon. So let me tell y'all how I was super salty, right? So on Amazon, I ordered two sets of post-it notes. And I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen because they were super cheap, okay? So like, I don't remember how much these were. I'll put the link down below. But I didn't realize it was gonna get like all of these in here. But I like with this pink one, 
I had already bought from an online shop, which I'm gonna show you guys so you'll see it. And I'm like, dang, like, I I, it was more expensive buying one from that shop than to buy this whole set. So this is, the, that was the only thing I had a little attitude about. But these are super cute. They are post-it notes. They are half circles. Um, these are gonna be really, really nice in my personal size planner. And again, they sent you all these colors. Again, I wasn't sure. I'm pretty sure this was like $10, maybe, if that. I don't know, but can't wait. And can't wait to use them. And then this next set of post-its, I was really skeptical. I'm like, it's only $9. Maybe I'm just used to buying stuff at Staples where, you know, a stack of just yellow post-its is like seven bucks. I'm like, I don't know what the quality is gonna be like, so we'll see. So this full set was $9, okay? So you get a ton of different themed post-it notes. The back is all in, I believe that's Chinese. And on here you get three sets of post-its. They are thin sets. If I had to guess, it's probably 15 sticky notes on each one. But the designs, okay, check out these designs. You have your ocean waves. You have your cotton candy clouds. You have your, uh, your moon coming up. You have your ocean, this is my personal favorite. You have your forest. And then we have another like nighttime-y themed one with the moon. Another cotton candy cloud. And then like the cloudy sky. And it was like they came in a set. You don't have to pick one. You could just like get the set. And it was $9. So I love the concept of decorative post-it notes. These are gonna be really, really nice in my planner. So. That was the Amazon stuff. Then I grabbed, hold on, let me get organized. From Etsy, from Etsy, they're the shop Pinkamono Papers. I showed you guys stuff from this particular brand already in my planner walkthrough video, which that video I will link for you in the description box. And I showed you all of the different, um, what did I get from her? The little like, um, what is it? What did I get from her? It was the paper, the paper clip decor. What is this stuff called? I don't forget. Uh, it's paper clip decor. So I put her paper clips or decorative paper clips like in the planner. But I also got a ton of stickers from her. They were really reasonably priced. Um, so I just want to kind of just walk you through the stuff. Like she was the only shop I found like fall themed from. And this one she sent me as a gift. Because I, I, I know I didn't order this one. But she sent me this one as a gift. And it is so, so pretty. So then this is her quarantine and chill set. And these are all stickers. So, and it's black black woman owned shop. So check this out. This one's my personal favorite. And then these sticker kits, I believe they're designed for like happy planners, but... I don't care I can use them in all my little inserts so um yeah and these were like sets so like these weren't things that I just purchased individually I'm pretty sure for a lot of her sticker kits there's an option for you which is what I liked like she showed you in the listing all of the sheets that come in the sticker set and you have the option for a lot of them to buy the sticker sheets a la carte like if you just wanted one page of it you could or you could get the whole set and it was really reasonably priced so like I stand. Yeah, these are definitely the happy planner ones. We can like make a little picture in your happy planners with it, but they're still super cute to me and I'm gonna use them how I see fit. Some those, those. I love this one. Okay, so that's from Pink and Mono Papers. And then the last thing in my little box is from Sugar and Ivy. I've shown you some of Sugar and Ivy's decals as well in my planner. But I got a ton of Christmassy themed ones from them when I placed my order for my last one. So just to quickly go through, how cute is the little hat? I cannot wait to use this. This is gonna be both in my personal and my A5 set. So we have a sweater weather decal pink Christmas tree, a pink snowflake, happy new year, some hot cocoa, we have a regular green Christmas tree, we have a hello fall pumpkin, which let me take that out, so I need to use that, and we have a little coffee man cup, 
so a little coffee man a cup of little gingerbread man on a coffee cup so those were my etsy michaels amazon people the first shop is from fancy fancy plans the website is littlemissfancyplans.com i will have the all the websites linked link down below and the person who owns it is also a youtuber her youtube channel is at home with kita and she's my favorite like planner person to watch and i actually bought some of her printables so she has a website and an etsy shop but you can also buy the same stuff from etsy on her website so i did buy some of her printables which you all will see when i do my um flip through of my business planner but um I wanted to also just order stuff just you know to see how the quality was and I'm already obsessed like this paper is super white I don't know if I've ever seen paper this like crisp before so first thing I ordered I actually ordered three sets of her recipe card inserts because I love her food planning videos and her inserts are so nice so this is what the front of it looks like there's a space for ingredients recipe name sir you know how many servings the recipe calls for difficulty how good it was prep time preparation notes and it's double-sided inserts so i grabbed a ton of these so that i can start to document my recipes because i do have a recipe insert y'all saw it in my flip through but i'm not in love with it and i really like hers maybe i just didn't watch too many of her videos so anyway they were really reasonably priced so i grabbed a couple of those i grabbed her to-do list set so that I could try this out with personal and work being on the same page. So we'll see how that goes. And these are size for my personal planner, by the way. I also grabbed her shopping list insert. And then this was this is what I meant by like I ex I bought these post-it notes before I placed my Amazon order, and I'm just like, I shouldn't have bought these, but it's okay. You can't have enough pink. Um and then I ordered these 2021 dashboards. So I ordered two. I ordered one for my personal planner and one for my A5 planner. And they're printed on vellum. And they're just super cute. So I'm going to take the personal one out so you guys can see. So it's just a really nice dashboard with the full year on it and the note taking section. So I've got this for both of my planners. And then I also just grabbed um, a, a vinyl. This isn't vinyl what is this this is a, a iced out dashboard that's not what it's called uh, but it's just a nice like you know click frosted i grabbed a frosted dashboard from her shop and i grabbed this because i want to make some task cards and it and, and basically put them like in adhesive pockets to go in the planner so for this is for my a5 which is my business planner and so in my mind my vision is the task cards will be some of my processes and routines in my business that i do over and over again and i wanted to adhere those pockets to a frosted dashboard divider that's why i grabbed just this because you could get it in a set or by itself but I haven't gotten my adhesive pockets yet because I ordered those from Planner Press. And as of today, the order from Planner Press shipped. So, but that's one of the ones that I'm still waiting on. So you guys will see how that all comes together. I'm thinking about doing a task card video, but if not, you'll see it in my planner walkthrough. So the last thing I got from Miss Fancy Plans was these post-its, the to-do list post-its. These are just so cute and she uses these a lot in her videos. So had to have them. So that's what I got from Fancy Plans. Check her out. Her, I love her inserts. Like, I guess I just watch a lot of her planning videos, but her inserts are really nice. Um, and if you want to go like a cheaper route, you can buy the printables. They're like two bucks. So, the last thing is from Cloth and Paper. I got two Cloth and Paper boxes today. One was my order. The other is my subscription box, which is a separate video. I'm pretty sure that video will be out before this one. So, if it is, check the description box for everything that you need. And... I'm obsessed so let's go ahead and dive right in so per usual we got a really nice thank you card with a coupon code on it we have our receipt and it came in a really cute little like plastic envelope with some journaling cards so this quote they've sent me before so I don't know if I'm going to use it again I'll probably just put it in my little like folder for like extra planner stuff and then this one is super super cute so they send that with your receipts so let me move my little stuff out the way so the first thing I grabbed was a pocket dashboard insert for my personal size planner I ordered this before I discovered the adhesive pockets in Michaels two days ago but I don't regret the purchase so um, this is what it looks like it's like a tan creamy color and it's super cute and it's really good quality like this is not a flimsy pocket so grab that 
and then the next thing i grabbed what are is this the uh this like pocket insert i think it is so cloth and paper were sold out of their adhesive pockets where you can basically which are basically like not the adhesive well yeah adhesive pockets but they're like car holders where they will fit like journaling cards and task cards and things like that so they were sold out of that so the closest thing they had was basically this like little document holder thing that you can put stuff in so i'm not sure how i want to use this yet like you could do something like this put some like journaling cards in there if you want to you know keep things like that i'm not sure what i want to do with this yet but i'll keep you all posted but either way like a little document holder for the personal size planner I grabbed a couple of their stickers, which they are super known for. So I grabbed the nude dots, I grabbed the saddle colored dots, and then I grabbed the mauve drops. So these are super cute, can't wait to use those. I grabbed their Mademoiselle and Mink post-it notes. I love this shape, this is so cute. I'm going to basically take these and put them on a dashboard in my personal size planner. Then I grabbed some dividers for my A5 planner because I was actually making labels. Um, I did buy like a little handheld label maker. It was all in nine bucks on Amazon. I have to find it for you guys. I have to find my label maker. But I was making labels for my A5 planner because I have dashboards in there but then I realized that 90% of the dashboards in my A5 planner do not have tabs. So there's no way for me to put the labels. So I went ahead and ordered some dividers from them and I'll just make these work. So this is their, um, I think this is the grind set. I can't remember, I'll have to link it down below. But they say the grind, socialite, inspo, girl gang, moolah, whatevs. So we have that. And then we have for the A5, we have another like dashboard insert. Let's see what this is. So per my receipt, this is the frosted document holder for the personal size planner. This is a frosted credit card holder for the A5 planner. So you, if you plan to use your planners as wallets, as people do here on YouTube, you can totally grab something like this. I really wanted this in personal size. Like that's what I really wanted this for. But I could only get it in A5. So I'm going to test out how I like using this versus the adhesive pockets for the A5. For, for, for I'm sorry. How I like using this versus adding on adhesive pockets to a heavy dashboard. The only thing I already don't like about this is I'm like, I feel like I wanted to have a little bit more support. So I feel like I'm going to end up putting this on top of a dashboard just so they have a little bit more support. So we'll see which one I like the best. I'll keep you guys posted. So then I have some half page vertical inserts. These fit A5 size. And I grabbed these just to kind of go in some of my business planning sections where those some of the sections are really structured with actual templates in there which again you'll see so for those sections i wanted to be able to add like note taking space so this is really cool and there's a calendar on the bottom as well so you can kind of circle off the date that you're doing stuff and then the last thing i grabbed for them is the five year plan insert i thought this was really cool and really unique but basically it's a it's an insert where you can kind of just map out your goals for the next five years so i'm gonna open it up with you guys because i forgot what it actually says in here so just like all of their inserts it's really good quality <laughs> really good paper so when you open it up front side is just blank and then you get this five-year plan you get this five-year plan overview so it just gives you an intro, it gives you some questions to consider around your personal life, your professional life, where you want to be in five years, it gives you some tips on mapping it out. And then the back of that is just some note taking space, so just for you to journal on what you want five years from now. The next page is a quote, and then the back gives you space to map out your goal, strategy, resources, personal audit and obstacles. And then you have space for yearly goals, monthly goals, weekly goals, daily, a vision boarding section. 
but then you have space to map out all of the milestones so all of the milestones and then the dates and that's just what the rest of this is it's just like it repeats itself so the rest of the insert you know it goes through the milestones it gives you another quote and then it goes back through the five-year plan so this is specifically for my business planner because i'm getting very intentional about my plans for business growth so i'm i'm really excited to try this out and depending upon how i like this i may go back and get it in personal size for my personal planner because there is a goal a goal tracking section in there right now i'm using goal setting inserts from notique so i'm just going to compare and see which one i like but for business this one felt really thorough for me so i'm really excited about using that the last thing i want to show you guys is my label maker i got this on amazon for nine dollars i think it was either nine or twelve but this is the cheapest label maker they probably have and I'm like I want the cheapest one and it's effective y'all it works it does come with a roll of white labels I did order some some clear ones the clear roll was all of three bucks and they come in like multi-packs but just to show you super quick how it works you just turn it on throw it down and then basically you can type right so um there's a back button there's numbers on here and then there's even like a, a button for symbols so if you hit like settings you can change the size you can make them make the letters larger if you want to and then where's the symbols thing at no insert hold on cancel insert so with insert, you can insert the date. I'm sorry, you can't even see. You can insert the date, a second line, symbols. They have emojis in here. You, again, like you can do a ton with this. So you can like edit that out. But I'm just going to make like a sample, um, a sample label that I know I'm going to need. So I'm going to label this one strategic plan. Strategic. And I'm going to do a second line. So all I'm doing right now is just typing. If you need more like typing room, you should probably get like a longer um, label maker. But for me, I knew that wasn't gonna bother me. Insert a second line and then put the word plan. Okay, and then after that, so it's in there, I'm gonna hit the print button. And you guys see it's starting to come out. Then this right here is your scissors. You just hit it and it cuts and you're good to go. And this is my new label. So strategic plan. And then on the back, all you have to do is like kind of fold it in half. And it like, I don't want to take the tape off, but like you could just easily like rip the tape off in the middle. So, because I'm actually going to put this on the dashboard. So, anyway, that's my label maker. I'm going to have the link for the stuff I got on Amazon, the direct links for those things below. And then I'll have the links for the shops that I purchased from in the description box as well. So, check those shops out. Support them. I mean, all of them except for Michael's. <laughs> it's like small businesses. So, support these businesses, you know they have amazing stuff and i know i'm i'm keeping them in business so with that uh upcoming planner videos you all can expect i'm waiting on an order from planner press so stay tuned for that i got a lot of stuff on sale with planner press um and then also stay tuned for my um business planner walkthrough once i get the planner press order in i'll be able to finalize the design because i really want to do the task cards so <laughs> that's the only thing um to give you all more ideas on how you can use your business planner for your entrepreneurship journeys so with that chat with me down in the comments you know how are you liking the planner videos are you on a planner video planner journey with me what are some must-have items that you have that you think i need to get let's chat in the comments i'll talk to you all in the next video bye